O'Connell Secondary School has been located in the heart of Dublin for over 180 years, sitting directly behind the magnificent Canal End stand of Crow Park. The school is made up of pupils from a wide variety of backgrounds and cultures, and it is this diversity that makes it such a special place to learn. Today is a non-uniform day to help raise funds for one of the many innovative programs which set the school apart, its Zambian Immersion Project. This groundbreaking project prepares a selected group of students to spend a three-week period in Western Zambia, working alongside and learning from the many volunteers and organisations that dedicate themselves to improving the lives of ordinary Zambian people. For a full year, these eight lucky students train and fundraise for this life-changing challenge, which takes place every two years. Oh yeah, yeah, it was a lot of work because we had to um, we had to put a lot of our own time into it, and we had to put a lot of effort into it, and we had to let everybody around us, all our family and friends, know about it, and because uh, we had to try to sell tickets and try to get people to attend events and um, we tried to get as much support as we possibly could. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, it took a lot of our spare, uh, our free time. We got, got specific jobs to do, we all stuck to them and did them. And I think we enjoyed it, we enjoyed interacting with the teachers and getting to know them on a friendship level. But we knew that we would have been able to do it and it was actually an enjoyable thing to do it as well. Because we got to know each other more and get the bond before we go. So the friendships got stronger and it was easier when we were over there. So the preparations and the fundraising actually helped while we were over there. Fundraising, we had a ball fundraising. I mean, like Roy said, we got to know each other well before we went to Zambia. So we didn't go to Zambia hardly knowing each other. Even when the project is over, you still help the school. When we finished, they'll be having quizzes for further projects and we'll help out with that as well. We'll attend the quizzes and attend other nights of fundraising so the project's never really over, you're always there to help. Um, the day that we left was very, very emotional for all of us. Cause like that night before we were getting stuff ready and the families were all you know good looking all and you didn't know really what way to take it because you're like you're gonna miss home you're not you're gonna go out and people that you're not gonna see for a while and then you have to go to Africa there's a whole change change for everything like clothes wise food wise you don't know what way to react to that and then you're gonna see kids that you don't usually see kids don't usually come up to you and hang out with you and hug you and ask your name. But like you just have to take her on board and give everything that you've got. Say, so when I got into the airport, I say a bit of a panic just came into me, I don't know, just thinking about the flight, 10 hour flight. It's a seven hour bus journey. Just we had to get some sleep after it. We're all exhausted. We were all going into the first day, bit, bit tired, bit this. And when we got there, to the kids, the excitement, I say, um, um, just came to us, helped us. We, got, we were surprised because everywhere we went, everywhere you go, they put on a performance and they dance and they sing for you. It's, a, it's incredible how much the dancing means to them. Every song has something, a storyline to it, has something got to do with their life. It's very important to them. Dancing is tradition over there. It's something they live, something they breathe, something they do every day. It's a very important part of their life and it was brilliant to see. We sang Alive, Alive, Well, Molly Malam. Uh, Mr. Fenelka and Mr. Flood go up and done a dance. <coughs> Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> the students and teachers were all expected to work throughout their stay. They make themselves available for a wide variety of tasks. These include distributing medication for those affected by HIV AIDS, acting as classroom assistants in community schools, helping out on the many small farms which provide food for the local communities, 
or simply spending time playing and laughing with a large number of children orphaned by AIDS. It is this time spent with the children who live in the orphanages that make their time in Zambia so memorable. Anybody can do it, but it involves certain things they have to be willing to do. You have to be dedicated, you have to be willing to go around the doors and don't be embarrassed to ask for sponsorship. You have to be just willing to do anything that's asked of you. You have to be very dedicated to what the teachers say to you. You have to go around to every house, every door, and you can get for this immersion project. Any student could do it. Just, you have to be brave and just, you have to be willing to go up and do things that you would usually do, like dancing, singing. It's not the, it's not the biggest thing in the world, but some people probably don't like being like in front of everyone and doing all that. It was like thinking, we have everything, they have nothing. Basically, we were off, we were well off, while they weren't, we, I just couldn't, every time I seen a shell, I just couldn't leave it, just couldn't take it really, just seeing that I was well off, and they were poverty struck and it just felt so sad, just couldn't, couldn't take it sometimes. My strongest memory was just working with all the different kids in different community schools, and orphanages, you know, uh, just seeing the joy on their faces as with just holding their hands and playing with them at all different times. It's a great memory. Strongest memory of the trip would be when we went to the Kashito community. Just the flight of seeing everybody there, just, it's a memory that I'd never forget, that feeling I got and how we all reacted to it. And then straight away, they made us feel at home. That was a real strong memory for me. Yeah, definitely. I would recommend it to any student, any person in the world, to go on it. It's a once in a lifetime experience. You will never experience anything else. You might, but it won't add up one and equal that to that. One equal to the seeing the children smiles, to seeing the, the lady singing, the children running after you after all. Even after playing with them with football, even talking to them, letting them know and remember your name, like giving the calls to them, seeing the smiles on their faces, it's just unbelievable. You know, it's one of those things when you look back 10 years from now and you're saying, I wish I put in the application form or I wish I tried harder, go on the trip. So I would definitely recommend it to anybody in the first year or second year.